Welcome back from that break. It's now time for us to key into the next discourse, which has to do as we celebrate ahead of the World Disability Day, which is on 10th December. We've got a very, very awesome personalities right here in the studios. To my left, I've got uh, Lois Auta, who is the founder of Cedar Seed Foundation. Uh, the motto of this foundation is Beyond Disability. Nice to have you join us. Thank you so much. And now to my right, I've got Benga Dewusi, who is uh, visually impaired, but an awesome personality. Benga, nice to have you join us. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, as we celebrate uh, a look ahead to the World Disability Day, which is 3rd of December, it's known that uh, the celebration, the United Nations has picked this specific day in order to promote uh, the awareness of people with disability and also help us know the benefits, economic benefit of integrating these special people into uh, the society, not just political, but social and other aspects of our human life. And that's why they're here. But uh, one key thing which uh, Lois Auta and her group is trying to do is to ensure the domestication of the People with Disability uh, Bill, which is currently in, in the National Assembly. Uh, Lois, take us to uh, how far have you gone and how, how far have you got in, in terms of cooperation from the lawmakers and other citizens hmm. Yeah, thank you for that okay. question. Since the um, administration of late President Omar Geradwa yeah. to former President Goodluck Jonathan, former President Owa Senjo, and presently with the present administration. Yes, in July 2013, it was passed in the House of Senate. But as it is, we are still waiting for the processes in the House of House of Representatives. Okay. In the um, past administration, yes, it got to the table of the former president, Goodluck, but it was not signed into law. Was there any reason given for uh, the refusal of President uh, Goodluck to assent to this? Yeah, he wrote a memo on the bill asking questions from Federal, Federal Ministry of Justice to answer those questions. And one of the questions was, where is the funding going to come, come from? from? Okay. Because in the bill, we requested for a National Disability Commission. Okay. Where um, issues of disability okay. will be managed. All right man by a person with disability okay and it was disheartening and disappointing when the federal ministry of women affairs which persons with disabilities groups are being taken care of okay during the public hearing at the national assembly they came they made a speech and they said we don't need a National Disability Commission. Why did they say so that? They killed that. What idea. was their reason behind not needing it? And the same issue no money, no funding to manage the affairs of the Commission. All right. Uh, Benga, looking at uh, what uh, Lois has said, uh, for people with disability or uh, visually impaired persons, uh, what does this mean to you people? Uh, does that make you feel less appreciated by the nation? And uh, just take us to what your mindset is as regards this very occurrence. Well, um, she has rightly spoken well. Okay. I looking at the instance of what has been happening uh, in our nation, Nigeria. Uh, you know, the disability bill, when such is being passed into law, that is what will give us the hope of life. Okay. Because in that document, a lot of things are involved there. All right. Whereby she has spoken about a national disability commission that will be, you know, uh, whereby professionals who are living with disability can also be working there. And uh, you know, because currently, the issue of disability in Nigeria is a, is a great issue, whereby because uh, you know, different people look at it with different uh, perceptions. 
But if the law, if the bill is being passed into law, that is what will not give us a backup. Mm -hmm. Because our issue currently does not have a backup. Uh, currently, we have been denied the opportunity to employment and economic marginalization. And uh, our social life is so backward. Uh, politically and culturally, we are backward. So if this bill is being passed to law, it's going to be what we give us, you know, the access to many things. Because currently, we are talking of uh, accessibility, okay. either in terms of health, uh, access to public building, you know, and, uh, you know, to offer inclusive education. You know, all these things are included in the bill. And uh, uh, as you rightly said, it was passed in the Seventh Assembly, okay. which was refused a uh, presidential assent. assent okay. And uh, just of recent, we went to National Assembly and we, we met uh, uh, the chairman uh, house on uh, ethics and privileges, and he gave us his words that they will ensure to see how the bill will be passed by House of Rep. So we are still waiting and hoping. We know that in the, uh, in the former administration, the bill was turned down, in which we were so disappointed and not happy with the former administration. We hope that this uh, present government will take the lead and pass the bill into law. Okay, Lois, do you agree uh, with the insinuation that there's no money to fund this commission? Or it's just because probably the government feels they're not going to benefit from the people with disability? Yes, I, I, dis <coughs> I, I fully disagree with that statement because other agencies are being okay. funded by same government. government. Then why the issue of disability <laughs> bill turned down? Why? We have, been, we have been treated as second class citizens Citizen. and we have our rights. Rights to infrastructures, yes. rights to policies, right to inclusive education, right to inclusive health, rights to inclusive transport, rights to every sector in the government. Right. We have been excluded. Have, have we have been deprived of right. our rights. Has your foundation uh, worked, trying to work with uh, international organizations like the United Nations, who since 1992 has been pushing uh, for uh, nations to uh, appreciate the dignity of people with disability and also their rights? Have you, have you reached out to such organizations? Yes, the first project we did on inclusive elections, it was funded by United Nations. And we've talked about the disability bill. About 70 persons came to Abuja from other states, and we celebrated International Day for Persons with Disabilities, supported by UN in partnership with Authors Gallery Initiative. UN are aware. UN are doing their best, but we need them put more pressure on the government to ensure that this bill is passed into law. All right, uh, Benga, let's look at it from the state levels. Uh, what has been the, the commitment of state governments and other civil societies within the country as well as helping push this, uh, this bill mm -hmm. for asset and also uh, how far has it gone? You know, before we talk of states, there are uh, many conventions that Nigeria has ratified. Right, yes. When it comes to the issue of uh, a person living with disability, we expect that the federal government should take a lead. Okay. Because if uh, Nigerians has ratified the conventions on the right of persons with disability, which is talking about the right and the well-being of a person living with disability, we expect that uh, implementation should be the order of the day. But uh, after ratifying all these conventions, we come back home here, then drop those documents. So if the uh, government at the federal level refuse to do something to address our plight, uh, we expect less from the state. Although some states are really doing their best, um, we uh, uh, think a legal state, they are coming up with a law, okay. which is uh, a law that will back them up there, and currently they have a disability office. Okay. Uh, on those states has also a disability office, and some other states like that. So I believe in some states, uh, some state governors, they are really coming up with some things 
to ensure that the, you know, the challenges faced by people with disability are being addressed. Because, uh, you know, when you look at it, this is a federation. Uh, some states are coming up with some policies uh, in terms of uh, empowerment okay. and to ensure that uh, uh, people, persons living with disability have access to employment. Because, you know, there are a lot of people who are living with disability who are qualified to take up any job. Mm -hmm. Even at the federal level, they have been denied. But if you go to some state, some state governors are making a special provision for them to see how they will be able to take up a job in order to have a meaningful life. All right. Finally, as we wrap up, uh, what will be your call uh, for stakeholders, the government, and the lawmakers specifically in order to help the domestication of this bill? Yes. First of all, to the government. Yeah, they've done well by appointing a senior special advisor on disability affairs. Okay. But we need them to put more effort and ensure that this bill is passed into law. Okay. Many issues of disability have been addressed in the bill. So if it is passed into law, it will give us our rights. Yes. And to the stakeholders, they should empower persons with disabilities, they should equip them, and they should engage them in everything they do. All right. Okay, for Venga, uh, finally, before we go, we'd like to know how do you intend to celebrate uh, this uh, 2017 World Disability Day? What are the plans of? Well, um, the 2017 celebration of uh, International Day of Persons with yeah, Disability, yeah. uh, the theme for this year is um, transformation Okay. towards a sustainable and resilient society for all. Okay. Uh, we hope to bring uh, people living with disabilities together to have some kind of, uh, to create some levels of awareness on the issue of a person with disability because we wish to, uh, you know, enlighten members of the public on how to relate with us, on how to handle our issue, and to understand the challenges mm -hmm. that we are passing through. Because this year, United Nations, they are really talking about rights and the well-being of persons with disability because they want to see how the society will be inclusive, how we can be involved in politics, in social life, economy, and to improve, uh, you know, the cultural background, the way people look at, uh, you know, persons with disability. And this year, we want to create awareness, to have awareness show, so that the people will understand what is the challenges, and also so that the government will know that uh, we are there, so that they will remember that we are part of the society. Because all we are hoping for is to have an inclusive uh, policy. Yeah. All right, uh, well said. I want to say thank you to the founder of Cedar Seed Foundation, Beyond uh, Disability, and the person of Lois Auta, and also Benga Adusi, who has also joined us uh, to celebrate uh, the uh, 2017 edition and I want to say thank you very much and we're urging the federal government or stakeholders to do the needful. Join the United Nations, join New Day team uh, to celebrate people with disability. They are part of us. They are, they've got rights like us and like the United Nations have said since 1992, they have every right like every other human being and they are also very useful for national development yes. in economics, in politics, in every facet exactly. of our national life. Mm -hmm. The people with disability are not dis dis disabled in terms of what they've got upstairs mm -hmm. and what they can offer to this big country called Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And with that, we want to say, let's join hands together as a nation and support people with disability. I want to say thank you very much for joining us You're once welcome. again. And Benga, thank you very much. You're looking awesome. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank All you. right. So let's uh, we'll be going for a quick break. When we come back, we'll be focusing on the biggest game in the world call it football and the 2018 world cup draws will be holding today in moscow and uh, i'll be having the ambassador of uh, african uh, friendly games uh, foundation in the person of uh, ambassador uh, richard jamie in the studio let's do analysis of the likely group that nigerian super eagles would will be in the world cup draws today and benga i i hope uh, you love football. Yes, so much, so okay. much. And uh, <laughs> what are expectations come 2018? Do you think the Super Eagles can win the World Cup? I guess we want them to go higher than what they have been doing before. before. So, okay. yes. All right. And um, for Lois, I know you're a long <laughs> tennis player. Uh, how come you played <laughs> long tennis? 
<laughs> and, yeah. uh, you play for leisure or you're good enough to <laughs> go for the games? <laughs> I both. Both. Yeah, for leisure. But why, why did you choose uh, long tennis? Yeah, I love the game. The game. Yeah, it makes me move parts of my body. Money. You can move them. Yeah. Alright, so I'm hoping one of these days she's going to go for the disabled games yeah. and do a sprout out and bring Loris back to the country. Alright, we'll go for a quick break. When we come back, New Day continues.